recognized and there'll be multiple recognitions and those students will stand, would you please hold your applause until all the students have been recognized. Each and every student today has met the requirements of the state of Maryland and also the Washington County Public Schools. It is a great day, and as I tell the students, it will be a great day at North Hagerstown High School. This has been a great year with great and talented students who will be presented to you today. This is a special ceremony, and as I spoke with the students many times this year, this ceremony is a tribute to you the parents, the family, and the friends of these students for assisting us and giving us the privilege as a staff and an administration to work with your children. We take great pride and we take great responsibility that you give us your children every single day, and this is the culmination of that effort. So as we go through the ceremony today, understand that we have partnered together, the administration, the staff, and you to bring these students to the stage. Thank you. That is hard work, 
being on time and present every day, and paying attention to details and deadlines. This is what we have taught you. You've learned these lessons. Don't forget them. Please remember the premier events from your high school days, and remember that we will need your help in the future so that others have the same opportunity that you had and they can follow in your footsteps. Congratulations, graduates. Which has served not only to educate us, 
but to allow us the opportunity to discover our true identities has come to its conclusion. The day we never thought would come is actually here. And when we look back on the fond memories of high school, we realize this day has come too quickly. But, as with every ending, there's a new beginning. Today, we make a grand entrance into the real world. I leave it completely up to you as to which personality you pack along for the journey. Will it be the person the world wants to see, or the real you, the one you want the world to see? I encourage all of you to go out into the world today and make something of yourself. Do it for your friends, whose open-mindedness and support have gotten, through, have gotten you through the toughest times of your life. Do it for your family, who has accepted your gifts and your flaws in life, and who has always been there for a loving times of crisis, and who has guided, supported, and loved you unconditionally, especially when you screwed up. But most of all, do it for you. Do it for the real you, who has been dying to come out of hiding for the past four years. Do it for the real you, who wants to show the world that he is an individual, and he is not afraid to be who he is. Do it for the real you, because the real you is the only thing you are truly guaranteed as long as you live on this earth. In closing, I believe I speak for all the graduates when I say thank you to everyone out there in the audience for everything you've ever done for us. You deserve a huge amount of credit for our progress and accomplishments. And finally, good luck to the graduating class of 2003, because though no one here needs it, because everyone on the stage has a wonderful, unique personality and is destined for success. Because success is not always having the biggest house, the nicest car, or the most important job. Success is being able to look in the mirror and to love and accept the person you are. Thank you.
Earnhardt for theme, Dare to Dream. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to the commencement exercises for the North Hagerstown High School class of 2003. I would like to begin by giving a heartfelt thank you to the administration and staff of North Hagerstown High School for making the past four years a successful venture for the class of 03. I would also like to give special thanks to Mrs. Carol Craigenbaum Barnhart, who was our class counselor, and to Ms. McGilliard, who was our active class supervisor. They invested a great deal of effort and personal time to ensure that the largest possible number of seniors will walk the stage this morning. Think back, if you will, to the years in which snacks, gym, and recess were your favorite academic classes. For some, this may still hold true with lunch and gym. <laughs> Elementary school was a simpler time for students. Bad behavior could be corrected with a five-minute timeout. Good grades were rewarded with colored stars and sweet candy. There were enjoyable years in which many students spent time daydreaming. While staring out of a classroom window, the future seemed endless and filled with possibilities. Albert Einstein once said that imagination is more important than knowledge. Knowledge is limited, and imagination encircles the world. I believe this to be a true statement. A man or woman studying the great philosophers of past generations may in a lifetime uncover only a fraction of the knowledge available to human perception. A child, dreaming for a span of 10 minutes, can fly to the moon or become the ruler of a castle in a distant country. As a child grows older, he or she tends to lose his sense of wonder for dreaming. I believe that when one loses the power to dream, he or she also loses the ability to grow. Dreams are limited to boundaries that might otherwise be confining. Dreams come in two general forms. One form comes at night, and the other during the day. Nighttime dreams are controlled more by the subconscious and tend to be forgotten with the coming of the following morning. Dreams that are dreamt during the day tend to be more conscious visions of hope that are not so easily forgotten. Dreams have one of several different fates. They can be achieved and bring a person success and happiness. They can also be forgotten. Lost in the shadows of responsibility or alternate dreams, some hopes are set upon a shelf and left to rust. There are also dreams that are left unfulfilled. There are dreams that grow roots but never reach their full flowering potential. These are the dreams that will nag you as you grow older. Edward Markham is accredited with the following passage. Ah, great it is to believe the dream as we stand in youth by the starry stream. What a greater thing to fight life through and say at the end that the dream is true. When children are asked to make the leap from elementary school to middle school, it is only logical that emotions such as fear and doubt should accompany them. It was during this transitional stage that my mother sparked a dream within my mind. She was currently a counselor at North Hagerstown High School, and I was entering the sixth grade at Northern Middle. She asked me, what do you want to be when you are older? I can remember from this age of five, of growing up to be a veterinarian. My mother's response to this answer was that in order to achieve my dream, I would have to work hard, and one day my studies would pay off. My goal was to be the top of my class, so that I would be able to use that knowledge to follow my larger dream. Standing among you now, I can say that my dream has been realized. I know that many among you have gone through your own actualizing of dreams throughout the course of this year. College acceptances and sports team championships are just two of the numerous accomplishments about which this class can boast. As the class of 2003, we stand upon the edge of a very long bridge. It spans the gap between our present locale and our future destinations. Each and every one of us has our own individual bridge. Not all of the bridges are the same. Some are wooden and narrow, easier for the wind to sway. Some are built wide and sturdy of solid stone. At the end of many bridges will be a bright and peaceful scene. 
At the end of some bridges, however, the destinations may be clouded by fog, and these bridges may appear to have no end at all. Whichever bridge you may happen to choose, know that there will always be guardrails to catch you when you fall. These rails are made up of the flesh and bone of your relatives, friends, classmates, teachers, co-workers, and frequent acquaintances. And remember that stumbling along your path is simply an excuse to rise again to a height higher than you had dreamed before. Standing here among you, my classmates, I am amazed at the character that this class has accumulated over the past four years. I will keep you all in my heart as I embark on my mission of service, for it is on your behalf that I dedicate my life to the preservation of democracy. You, the class of 2003, have proven to me time and time again that there is greatness in this country. I am honored to be able to include myself among such a diverse group of talented young leaders. I am sure that your parents and relatives are very proud of you, and you should take pride in your accomplishments. I want to place forth a challenge to you this morning, and that challenge is this. To continue your good works of charity and cooperativeness out in the world beyond North High. Take this country by surprise, and never forget that it was the diversity of the individuals in our class and the unity among the members of our class that brought us this far. Let us be a testament to our neighbors that different does not always mean wrong, that similar does not always mean right. I wish to leave for you a quote that my parents left for me. It was said by a man named Helmut van Moltz, first ponder, then dare. Dream, and do not stop to ask yourself if it is possible for dreams to be limitless. Believe in yourself and place faith in the truth that dreams do come true. Act, for dreams cannot be achieved by watching through the window pane. And achieve, for you are the class of 2003, and the ability to succeed is within your grasp. Thank you.
service academies. This year we have a young lady who has done that, and believe me that the process is rigorous. And I've been directed by Representative Roscoe Bartlett to present the following award to Helen M. Barnhart, so if she will join me at the podium. takes great pleasure in recognizing with this certificate of accomplishment the selection of an appointment of Helen M. Barnhart for the United States Naval Academy Class of 2007. Ladies and gentlemen, Helen Barnhart. Seton Hill University Presidential Scholarship, George Mason University Academic Scholarship, James Madison University Student Government Association Scholarship, Avon Scholarship, Choices in College and Careers Scholarship, Martin Luther King Scholarship, North Hagerstown High School Student Government Scholarship, Colon Cancer Prevention Scholarship, Frostburg University Annual Fund Alumni Scholarship, Randolph-Macon University Robert A. and Martha Crocker Spivey Scholarship, Danielle Brown, Hagerstown Community College Foundation Scholarship, Fletcher Foundation Scholarship, Dominique Christian, Dominic, Key Club Scholarship, Martin Luther King Scholarship, Kiwana Scholarship, Ashley Chuck, Washington County Hospital Auxiliary Scholarship, Cedar Grove Church Scholarship, Eastern Mennonite University Scholarship, Stephanie Colas, Hood College Academic Achievement Award, Hood College Achievement Award, Kelly Cordes, Washington County Hospital Auxiliary Scholarship, Horatio Alger National Scholarship, American Association of University of Women Scholarship, Eastern Mennonite University Academic Scholarship, Holly Crabb, Massey Rowe Scholarship, John Quito, University of Maryland College Park Banner Key Scholarship, Maryland Distinguished Scholarship, Elks Citizen Award, Laura Douglas, Isa B. F. Swartz Prize, Goucher College Presidential Scholarship, Margaret Dudgeon, Washington County Hospital Auxiliary Scholarship, Founders Merit Scholarship, Christina Embley, Spirit of Seventy Award, Christine Ennis, Elks National Foundation Most Valuable Student Scholarship, John D. Zentmeyer Honor Society Scholarship, Stephen Fite, Robert J. Wells Memorial Scholarship, Michelle Fickus, First Data Scholarship, Virginia Tech Scholarship, Cinegrove Cage Hagerstown Pellitzer Science Engineering Scholarship, Mackenzie Fox, Auburn University Athletic Scholarship, 
Stephanie Garrett. Frostburg State University Music Scholarship, Hood College Academic Scholarship, High Point University Academic Scholarship, Catawba College Academic Scholarship, Catherine Middlecoff Mathematics Scholarship, Douglas Grove, University of Maryland Baltimore Campus Presidential Scholarship, Laurel Hackley, Wellesley College Academic Scholarship, Aaron Powell, Otterbein United Methodist Memorial Scholarship, Ashley Haywood, Benjamin Rush Scholarship, Dickinson College, Daryl Henry, Taylor University Academic Scholarship, Catherine Middlecoff Mathematics Scholarship, Adam Marcus Albright Hope, Ho, sorry. University of Maryland Dean's Scholarship, University of Maryland Academic Scholarship, Sierra Coleman, Barton Award, Stephanie Horton, Hagerstown Business College Imagine America Scholarship, Samantha Hose, Morgansville Roritan Scholarship, Hagerstown Community College Radiology Scholarship, Hagerstown Community College Foundation Scholarship, Brian Huguenin, Virginia Wesleyan Leadership Scholarship, Mary Pines, Butler University Theater Scholarship, Butler University Audition Award, Indiana University at Bloomington Faculty Award, Indiana University at Bloomington Academic Scholarship, Jessica Kanzler, Catholic University Merit Scholarship, Tara Kephart, Hagerstown Community College Foundation Scholarship, Washington County Bar Association, Nicole Kenna, Carlo College Academic Scholarship, Lindsay Kugler, Burger King Scholarship, Ohio State National Buckeye Scholarship, Stephanie Lamb, University of Maryland Academic Scholarship, University of Maryland Minority Excellence Award, Amy Lawson, West Virginia University Academic Scholarship, Sarah Long, Trinity Lutheran Church Scholarship, Austin Lucas, Guilford College Presidentials Award Scholarship, Andrew Lynn, Emerson S. Barron Patriotism Award, Jonathan Martin, Washington College Academic Tuition Scholarship, Washington College Grant, Buzzy Whitmer Memorial Scholarship, Mount St. Mary's Merit Scholarship, Mount St. Mary's Merit Grant, Chuck Zonis Memorial Scholarship, Goucher College Global Citizen Scholarship, Goucher College Grant, Salisbury University Academic Scholarship, Virginia Tech Academic Scholarship, Chuck Zonis Memorial Athletic Scholarship, John D. Zentmeyer Honor Society Scholarship, Elon College Presidential Scholarship, Towson University Academic Scholarship, St. Mary's College of Maryland Academic Award, St. Mary's College of Maryland Grant, University of Maryland Academic Scholarship, Amber McSherry, Morgansville Roritan Scholarship, Hagerstown Community College Foundation Scholarship, Conservative Incorporated, Jody Metz, First Marine Division Association Scholarship Grant, Leanne Miller, Maryland Teachers Scholarship, Shenandoah University Music Scholarship, Towson University Provost Scholarship, Towson University Honors College Scholarship, Maryland PTA Scholarship, North Hagerstown High School Coral Boosters Scholarship, Jennifer Morse, McDaniel College Academic Scholarship, University of Maryland Baltimore Campus Dean Scholarship, St. Mary's College of Maryland Academic Scholarship, Towson University Academic Scholarship, William Mullary, Cosmic Pet True Grit Scholarship, Sarah Mullendorf, 
Slippery Rock University Honors Program Scholarship, Slippery Rock University President's Scholarship, Brian Nichols, North Hagerstown High School Student Government Association Scholarship, Paige O'Flaherty, Towson University Athletic Scholarship, Nipa Patel, Penn State Nittany Lions Scholarship, Megan Reed, College of Santa Fe Dean Scholarship, College of Santa Fe De La Salle Scholarship, College of Santa Fe Talent Award, Cody Rhodes, Western Maryland Troopers Association Scholarship, Susanna Rhodes, Elks Foundation Most Valuable Student Scholarship, Rustoleum Corporation Scholarship, Trinity Lutheran Church Scholarship, Maryland JCI Senate Foundation, Gettysburg College Parker E. Wagnell Music Talent Scholarship Award, Thrivent Financial for Lutheran Scholarship, Massey Rose Scholarship, Hagerstown Lions Club Scholarship, Whitney Robinson, Band Alumni Memorial Scholarship, Mark Russ, Martin Luther King Scholarship, Kill Kill Shaw, Key Club Scholarship, Bobby Shamhol. Whitney Elizabeth Robinson. Cody Rhodes. We love you, Cody! Woo! Wait till they got quiet. <laughs> Ashley Elizabeth Worthington. Amy Rowan. Thank you. 